Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an automated casino uh, on any Minecraft server or anything in general that uh, has the chest shop plugin or any sort of shop with a chest. You can do this in vanilla, but there won't there wouldn't be any price to it, and so it would be free, so that wouldn't make it as fun. But as you see, there's one cobblestone in this chest. It doesn't matter what it is. I have nothing on this sign currently because obviously I can't buy something from my own chest shop and this dropper is gonna be the one that's giving out the reward and so the oak planks signify a good reward and the cobblestone uh, shows like bad like just nothing and then down here this dropper is also filled up and so just to show you when someone would right click this sign it would pull out this cobblestone and then I get spit out a cobblestone from here because I didn't win the droppers random dispensing uh, I did not win I got this one and then if you look this number is one less and the chest got refilled so if I do it again it'll work again and I got another cobblestone dispensed and another one out of here and so now I will show you how to make this so this design is very simple, as you can tell just by looking over there, and these are all the resources you'll need. Two redstone dust, one redstone comparator, one chest, two droppers, one sign to make your chest shop, two redstone repeaters, one redstone torch, and just a couple of blocks, and this wood is just to signify the winds again. And so what you're going to do to start, choose your area that you want your chest to be, break one block down, Break two blocks down, two blocks down, one block down. Come back over here. Place a dropper facing up with your chest on top. Come down in this hole. Place a repeater here. Two redstone dust. And then you're going to grab your blocks. It doesn't matter what they are again. Put two here. Put your comparator here. Block up here. Break this block now. And then you're going to place your torch right here and then a block on top and then a redstone repeater here with your second dropper right here and that's it all you need to do is fill in your items so just put in your cobblestone put in one cobblestone here let me take some more out and then when they try pull it out it will dispense and eventually, here let me see if I can get the oak planks come on sometimes the chests glitch like that on the servers where it doesn't look like it refills but there we got the planks back and that signifies a win and to do this actually on a server to where they get money First, you need to place down your sign, and the common context of the sign is your gamer tag on the top. Make sure there's no brackets, I'm just putting that so you know. And then you're going to put one here, you're going to put a B, and then the amount you want to charge. And then down here, you're going to put the item ID. And to find the item ID, all you have to do is, on most servers, hold the item you want in your hand, and type slash I info. I'm not going to do that now because I have chat disabled. But yeah, that's it. And then you'll type that number down there. It'll give you a number in the chat and you just type that down there. And then if you want to fill this up with money for when the person wins, all you do is type slash withdraw and then one... Oh wait, you can't withdraw one dollar. Ten thousand dollars. Whoops. And then you can put this in here like this. And then they can win the $10,000. And you can also change the amount of items you want in the dropper. Maybe you only want five items, so it's a 20% chance of winning. Maybe you only want four, 25% chance, three, 33%, 50%. You probably wouldn't want 100%, but yeah, you can change any of this. You can even have, like, replace this and put money there too, and then it's two out of nine, so 22%. And yeah, so it's pretty customizable very simple and one last note is you cannot have two of these systems right next to each other so this will work 
but if I move this one block over, they would interfere with each other because of this redstone dust, and you would not be able to do that. So make sure you have them at least one block separated. But that's going to do it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.